All right, now that I have the barracks ready uh, to go all the way, as you can see here, uh, you're gonna wanna start farming your local area. So as you can see, I have three clubbies going and they're going to somebody who's kind of far away. I kind of messed up on the starting location here. Usually you wanna start with a lot of people who are already out of beginner's protection, but whatever. Um, yep, I got my club swinger going. You wanna keep these guys going as much as you can. Now you're going to notice that it's zero crop per hour. Crop at the beginning of the game is not that important to most people. They don't go negative unless you're really a two and you're doing it this way. So you can go negative and you'll be perfectly fine. Like really, I have 388 right now. How much is it for cubbies to actually make them? Yeah, it's 40. So, I mean, you're going to pull in more crop by rating than if you were to like otherwise so you don't they they pretty much pay for themselves this is the farm i'm rating right now if you notice all these guys are all around us now when you're choosing a farm you're gonna want first off to look who's closest that's priority who's closest and out of beginner's protection that is the number one thing you need to look for then you look at their tribe early in the game gauls are the people you want to stay away from immediately Never attack a gall unless they're below, say, 15 pop. Like, anything above that, stay away. They'll have trappers, you'll lose your troops, and you either have to beg for them to be freed, or it's just not something you want to get yourself into. Romans are always good to hit. Their troops take a lot of resources to get to, and most people who play Romans haven't really played the game much or understand the basics of the game, because they're kind of... They're semi-easy to go, but they're really good for farming. Uh, finally, if you see any uh, Romans, I mean not Romans, Gauls, I mean eh, Tuitans, Tuitans in the area, if there are nine top Tuitans, I'd be weary about attacking them. They're something that you really don't want to attack. Um, so one other thing that you're going to want to start doing is this village will eventually become your artifact village. This is going to be the one that you snag your artifact with so keep that in mind keep building troops here um just keep going over and over this is going to become a support village you're obviously going to want to go for a high percent cropper 15c whatever for your own now these are the buildings that you can make right off the bat do not make a hero's mansion anywhere in the near future you will not need it that's, that's a guarantee if you make it you're just wasting your resources they're really expensive early on in the game Embassies are good for culture points, but definitely make your warehouse and your granary first. Walls are only necessary if you're getting attacked, same with crannies. Crannies are kind of hit or miss. If you're getting attacked, they're great to have, but um, if you're doing the attacking and you're not really under fire much, then don't make them. They're, they're unnecessary. Um, so right now, I'm under like 100 hours of beginner's protection or something like that. So I'm kind of exploiting the fact that I can hit them, they can't hit me. So let's look at the map again. So like I said before, you want to look, and luckily Travian's added a little thing over here that tells you like what tribe people are before, so you don't need to click on them and be like, oh crap, I can do this person over and over. They haven't added anything for beginner's protection, so you have to click on a point, and it's going to say beginner's protection at the bottom, and you're not going to be able to attack them. So you're going to want to continue farming, continue building your troops. Build troops only until you reach around, I think, I think 10 is probably a good start. 10 to 20 is a really good start. I've read guides that say 50. That's a lot of troops before you're making any crop. And if you don't have a lot of good farms, then you're going to screw yourself over. So if this is your first time trying this strategy, 10 to 20, then start working on crop fields, then get your granary up, get your warehouse up, and then you'll be fine. Um, now, there's another thing that has happened in my area that I want to acknowledge as well. This guy is called By Tange of DA Alliance 69 Pop. This is a 15C of somebody else. You look at their profile. They they can want me pretty easily if they want. They're a Gaul, and they're in the third best alliance. So I mean, early in the server, rankings don't mean much. But you can tell who's going to be good. And if a Gaul already has a second village at this point in the game with that little of a pop, they know what they're doing. So, there are two ways that people get out of this. One, they suck up to the person. Or two, they destroy them. I usually lean to go for the destruction path. 
They are galls, and I want to avoid hitting them much. So there are secret ways, or not secret, but more subtle ways of destroying them. One, raid everything around them so they cannot get any resources at all. It helps, trust me. It's, it's a good idea to do that. Uh, if you get their, you get resources, and they don't get resources, so it's a win-win. Now, farms regenerate uh, resources at a rate of, I think it's um, 34 an hour, 34 resources an hour. So by the time you can get out to them and get back, they're making 60. That's one clubby's full, one clubby full, assuming they don't have crannies or whatever. So keep that in mind. You can always keep going back to them over and over. Hit them over and over again until they're like done bleeding resources. So I'm going to show you a couple of the reports of my farm from earlier today. They're not that good. This farm is not producing what I want it to. I mean, 4-3-3-3, not great. Uh, 49 out of 120 with 16-11-11-11. That's okay, but I really want to max it out. If you're not getting much resources, keep hitting. You will start getting resources over time. Um, rating parties should be between early in the game, 2 to... Five. Later on in the game, it increases. Um, some are like 90. Some it depends on the farm really, but it can range anywhere between like five to a thousand clubbies. I mean, I've seen farms that are able to produce a full load of a thousand clubbies to get uh, get you all of the resources that you need, and they're not even that far away. So I got my other club somewhere out, and I'm all happy. And uh, so thanks, guys. Um, there might be a part three about how to build your village if you're a Tuatin, or maybe it'll just be how to build your village in general, I don't know, but thank you.